so why is it called a local loop because this loop will not interact with the external thing how let's try to think so there's a there's a current through this like this the same current goes from here right you see so, so this current is the same let us say this current is small i let us say okay this current is small i fine now what happens this acts as a junction this acts as a junction so so if the if the current flows like this it has a tendency to to come like that okay it has a tendency to to come out like this and then it will continue ahead fine then it will continue ahead so if out of auto out of i1 say an i2 sorry say an i2 current comes out i2 comes out then what happens is that i1 minus i2 will continue ahead okay it will continue ahead now what happens this i2 this i2 has to come here because try to see this has become i1 minus i2 okay this has become i1 minus i2 so 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 it 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 continues like this i1 minus i2 and what happens what happens then this i2 has to flow all the way like this and it has to add here in this this is i1 minus i2 i1 minus i2 will have this i2 added and and, and this current will become i1 it will be the sum of these two currents understand do we understand that so so what does this setup do this setup so what do we define as r yes tell i1 i1 is i2 comes like this that i2 gets added and and this i1 minus i2 continues again this i2 gets added so you're calling it i2 oh, okay 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 this i2 gets added in i1 in i1 minus i2 it becomes i1 from i1 i2 comes out and i1 minus i2 circulates so it's flowing in the upper vertical hmm. right hmm. okay so 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 what happens is you see this i2 independently flows through this understand that now come to this it is the same thing the these are the electrodes these are the electrodes this is the solution but first try to understand the circuit okay so what have we done what have we actually done is that that a current flows like this a current flows like this okay it flows like this from here it comes out okay and and somehow it 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 continues this journey like this fine okay now what happens so so this cell is able to force a current in this direction okay 
in this direction. So what happens? So what happens? You will have you will have this current getting reduced. This current will get reduced. No, the, the current that was this side. That original current that was flowing, that will get that I am talking about the current that would have been flowing had this paraphernalia would not have been there. Had this attachment not been there, it would have been this. Okay. Okay. We get that point? Hmm? Now what happens? So, so you'll find as you as you increase this, you'll find that this current has started becoming smaller. Okay, till you reach a point where you make this one point one volts. Okay, you make it one point one volt and. That means across this you give 1.1 volt. So what happens? What happens? There will be simply no current here. I will be 0. It will be showing you no current. Okay. There will be no current here. here. If you somehow reverse this. If you somehow reverse this, what happens? What happens? The current that it forces goes in this direction. Goes in this direction. Okay? So if, if earlier there was a current in this direction, this has become 0 and now the current is in this. I have flipped the polarity. Okay, I have flipped the polarity. Get that? So the current goes in the opposite direction. Now what does it mean? I have seen that if there was nothing, there was a current flow like that. Okay. You will understand more about it when you go to the cells. Actually, these are two opposing cells. Fine. They are actually two opposing cells from here and here. Right. So, so what happens when it is less than 1.1, it starts reducing. When this becomes equal to 1.1, it actually balances this. It actually balances this and it does not allow any current to flow. And if you exceed this, if, if, if you if you if you flip this flip the polarity then it starts forcing a current in the opposite direction and what happens so here what happens a spontaneous reaction reaction to electricity I am saying that if the net current is here, the galvanometer is showing like that, right? And so, so here spontaneous reaction becomes electricity. Here what happens? Here what happens? No reaction. You will find that the reaction, no chemical reaction. No electricity. No electricity. Here what happens? Here what happens? Do I erase this? Here what happens? Spontaneous 
स्पॉन्टेन्यूस रिएक्शन लीड्स स्पॉन्टेन्यूस केमिकल रिएक्शन कंटिन्यूस दो एट अ स्लोअर रेट दो एट अ स्लोअर रेट दैन ए अब आई कॉल दिस ए ओके आई कॉल दिस बी कॉल दिस सी कॉल दिस डी इलेक्ट्रिसिटी is generated and thus chemical reaction chemical energy gets converted into electrical energy okay sure nothing happens no chemical activity no electrical activity nothing so you have sort of stopped the reaction by applying a force in the opposite direction here something amazing happens here what happens the reaction starts in the opposite direction in the opposite direction that is the non spontaneous reaction occurs the that is the non spontaneous reaction occurs the non spontaneous reaction occurs what happens what was happening here here zn was becoming zn2 plus and cu2 plus was becoming cu that that is your that is your spontaneous chemical reaction so when i say spontaneous chemical reaction it is zn becoming zn2 plus obviously with release of two electrons and cu2 plus becoming becoming cu obviously with acceptance of two two electrons here exactly the opposite will start uh, happening right so so here what will happen the the non spontaneous reaction is what it is that cu starts becoming cu2 plus plus two electrons and zn2 plus accepts two electrons and becomes zn the whole reaction gets reversed okay it becomes reversed in this mode in this mode it is known as a daniel cell as a daniel cell and here it is known as an electrolytic cell electrolytic cell e is anything anything greater than 1.1 e is greater than 1.1 okay so do we get that point so this becomes non spontaneous here what was happening here what was happening zinc corrodes copper gains weight okay 
I have smashed it since converted into. Okay. Here what happens? Exact opposite happens. Here Zn gains weight and Cu corrodes. If you remove all this, immediately the reaction will be in the opposite direction. Okay. If you again switch it on, if you switch this off, the opposite will start happening. This current will start flowing like that. If you if you put this in, this happens. So what happens actually is that the electrical energy. gets converted into so in this case uh, Zn will chemical start energy yes in this case Zn will start fighting over and Cu will get corroded yeah yeah Zn gains weight and Cu corrodes the exact opposite happens this is what you may call as charging of the cell right this is what you call the charge this is what happens when you charge the cell and again it is ready to go back okay but obviously the cells that we are talking about are dry cells okay these are wet cells and they are clumsy and they are bulky right you need a salt bridge you need need, a, need two beakers you need liquids okay and now you'll understand why why we are so happy with dry cells carrying this is, is one hell lot of a job right <coughs> 